Ryan Wise lives a comfortable life in a quiet North Vancouver neighborhood at the foot of Grouse Mountain. But this summer, he'll be trading all of the luxuries he's become accustomed to in order to travel to Toronto and help underprivileged children with the Urban Promise program. Pretty scared, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be different, but it'll be a whole new experience. The Urban Promise program offers a chance for young adults across North America to travel to areas affected by poverty and crime. It offers a rare direct opportunity to make a difference in a child's life. Ryan's youth pastor, Brian Dean, who is familiar with the Urban Promise mission, says it's not about material donations or gifts. What real poverty is, is, is having nobody to go to. And so what Ryan will be doing is going and caring and investing his life and uh, showing these kids that they are valuable, they are meaningful, they are loved. And that is the greatest gift that he can be giving. And that's the greatest gift that those kids can receive. Pastor Dean has been a friend and mentor to Ryan for six years and noticed some qualities that made Ryan a good candidate for the program. The more I got to know Ryan, the more I realized he uh, is really compassionate. He has a great heart for other people. Uh, he cares deeply, uh, which fits well with the Urban Promise program of going to help others and care for others. The one-year program will have Ryan teaching in classrooms located in trouble, low-income schools. Ryan's mother believes the one-year trip will be a life-changing experience. He's going to come back a changed guy, I think. I mean, for the, for the better, for the better, for sure. So we've, we've said to him, just learn as much as you can and be appreciative of the opportunity and just be true to who you are. Ryan Wise leaves for Toronto in August, and lucky for him, the nice life he's accustomed to hasn't shaped his personality. He's just a caring teen looking to make a positive difference in the world. Mitchell Sayers in North Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.